Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel. We get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and more. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. There is a new reality series coming to BET. It's called BET Presents The Encore. And I'm sure you're like, what in the hell is that? Well, apparently, they are trying to put together a supergirl group. I know, I know, I know. They've tried this before. June's Diary, although very talented, never went anywhere. But this time, they are picking some of our favorite groups from the 90s and 2000s and putting them all together in a house to create an album in just 30 days. Well, before we get into that, shout out to my friends over at That Great Juice. They are reporting this. And as you know, we'd love to cite our sources. So check out the description of this video so you can read the full story. But here are some of the highlights from this new series coming to BET. First of all, it's helmed by one of our favorites, Carlos King. You know, all of his work on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Hollywood Divas, and most recently, Bell Collective and... Uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville. That was usually successful for OWN. But a year ago, a fiery clip of Keely Williams and Farrah Franklin, formerly of 3LW and Destiny's Child, surfaced and went all the way viral. This is according to That Grape Juice. It was lifted from the pilot of a reality show that sought to create a super group comprised of ex-girl group members. There were ample calls from various corners of the net for the show to hit the airwaves. And I don't know if I could play this for you guys just because there's some music playing in the background. So moving forward, Carlos King is actually working on making this happen and it's coming to BET. As I said before, it's called BET Presents The Encore. It's set for a June 9th premiere. The 10 episode season will unite eight names from notable 90s and 2000s groups as well as Nivea, who was never a part of her group, but she was part of that time. Very big artist. Still love her debut album. I digress. So these are the ladies that are going to be a part of it. Let me just see if I can get a photo for you guys. So these are just some of the ladies that are going to be a part of it, including our girl, Shamari DeVoe. Remember her from the Real Housewives of Atlanta? She was also part of the, uh, the group Black. Aubrey O'Day, not sure she looks like this anymore. You know her from Danny McCain, Keely Williams with 3LW, and uh, Fallon and Felicia King from Cherish. But also Pamela Long from Total will be a part of this. Irish and Lamisha from 702. And as I said before, Nivea will be a part of this. Here's just a, a little a snapshot from the series. It looks like it's going to be good. I mean, you say what you want about these women. They all were talented. They all, I, I can't, I'm trying to think of everyone's voice in this particular situation. I love Shamari's uh, DeVoe's voice. I think this is going to be an amazing opportunity for her. I know a lot of people wanted her to come back on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Her main claim to fame is music, and she still has those pipes. So I'm glad that she's involved in something that's music related. Aubrey O'Day, she's sort of become a character of herself in recent years. It's nice to see her get back to where she started reality TV, but also music. I'm excited. I'm not that excited to see Keely, but she might be able to add the drama that we need. But let me give you a little bit more uh, information from Carlos King, who's talking about this uh, situation. He said this, I felt that girl groups never got its just due. And I, as a content creator, wanted to educate the masses on who I feel are the forgotten sisters of music. I wanted to play, pay homage to the industry and really give these women an opportunity to share their stories and their struggles. I'm super proud of this show. It's a love letter to girl groups. It's a love letter to the genre that I feel like has always been super underrepresented. And I truly hope with the success of the show, it reignites the records labels to invest more in girl groups. I definitely think there's an appetite for that. One of the other executive producers, Tiffany Lee Williams uh, over at, well, she's BET's executive vice president of unscripted programming said this, Fueled with passion and drive, the leading ladies of BET Presents the Encore prove that lightning can absolutely absolutely strike twice. 
and we can't wait to share the next phase of their journey with our viewers. This journey will bring fans behind the scenes in the music making process, reconnect them with some of your some of their favorite chart topping singers and deliver unforgettable stories from celebrities they love. I'm excited for this because I think all of these women have talent. As I said to you before, they are going to be recording an album in 30 days at a home studio, honing their vocals and learning intricate choreography. I, I'm excited to see this. I know there's going to be drama because it, Carlos King's involved. <laughs> Shout out Carlos. But I also love the fact that he is also paying homage to girl groups because I, I agree. I feel like girl groups are still pertinent. I think there's still a, a hunger for girl groups. I don't know. I think what happened with June's Diary was just mismanagement. I think the team that they had behind them, no shade to Kelly, no shade to Frank Gadsden. I just feel like they were not the right fit for getting these people out there. And I hope Carlos King in developing this reality show also has a team of people that knows music, the industry, the business, and is able to take this big girl group. Cause this is a very big girl group. And we already know drama is going to ensue. And it's not just because it's a girl group. It's just because there's so many different opinions. And some of these people are legendary in regards to their opinions. Keely, Aubrey, Pam, <laughs> no shade, no shade. I'm excited for this. I will be covering this on the channel. I will be talking about this on the channel. It's 10 episodes. It's premiering June 9th. Let's all make a date to be there and then let's do a live and talk all about it. As I said to you before, if, if you like the channel, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and comment. Let me know your thoughts on the ladies of of this new show, BET's The Encore, that will be coming June 9th on BET. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to talk about it. And I'll see you guys very soon.